Today's thrift store find is this switching power box. Pretty cool. Found this in the electronics section of the thrift store. It has five individual switches and a master switch, and that corresponds to the five plugs on the back. Pretty cool so far. The cord is in excellent shape. No frays. As you can see there, that is $5 as is, but at my thrift store, everything is always half price, so I picked this up for $2.50. So here's a close up of those front switches. They were originally labeled auxiliary one and two, printer, monitor, and computer, and then you have the master switch there all the way at the other end. But obviously, I'm gonna use it for a little bit of a different setup. We'll get it all hooked up to some things we got laying around here, and let's see how this thing works. So this is the basic setup on my studio desk. Please forgive the little Raspberry Pi Zero there up in the front. I'm working on a project for that. But as you can see, we've got the master power on, and I've got the what's labeled monitor one on. I'm running that to the Raspberry Pi 4 back here in the back. And hopefully you'll be able to see that the light's on there and everything is working just fine. Flip it off. The Raspberry Pi goes off. Flip this one on here. That powers the Micronta, which in turn powers my base station CB radio. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to be able to hook up all my different power supplies through this and then probably multiple Raspberry Pis through this as well that run different things here in the studio. And overall, for an investment of $2.50, I got to say that I'm very happy with the way this is working. All of the switches work across the board. All of the plugs work in the back. I guess I could crack it open if I really wanted to and check the soldering on the inside. I don't think that's necessary because right now everything's working. If anything fails, it's a gotta be a pretty basic setup inside of there. Nothing more than a glorified uh, power strip. So it would be really easy to fix if it comes to that. So here you can see I've doctored it up a little bit. I've got a ham clock running on that monitor there, which is running through that Raspberry Pi that I showed you earlier that was sitting in the front. Turn on the power supply there for the CB radio, and that works excellently. I really like this setup. It, it centralizes everything and makes everything uh, very convenient to get to. I've labeled some of those switches there with some of the different things that I'm running to them. I've got the Micronta listed, I've got the Raspberry Pi 4 listed, and I've got the Raspberry Pi Zero listed. So that's what I'm running right now. Again, I'm running the ham clock off that Raspberry Pi Zero, and I'm running RTL SDR uh, radio off the Raspberry Pi 4. And here's just a couple close-ups of how everything's running. This was a sweet deal for $2.50. Hopefully you liked this little thrift store find. If you did, well, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Feel free to leave me a comment below. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe. Or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.